Hello, this is Christian. In this video, we're going to uh, pass data and process this data using the handlebars uh, templated engine and Node.js Express. So let's go and take a look. So here is our page. We've been working on this in the previous video, and we just basically converted the um, the static page here, okay, to an Express uh, application. Notice we haven't created the other other uh, um, component yet. So let's go and create those views first and we'll add some data to the application all right so um, first let's go and fix something really quick in the header here the navigation here these will not be called these anymore the link will be linked to a view right so one of these views will be creating inside the views folder so the home page will be called we, we call it main <clears throat> but uh, you can change it to like home maybe it makes more makes more sense to call it home instead but since I already called my main, I'll just leave it as that. Okay. The about will be just called about, and then it says contact, and I'll just call it portfolio. Right. So it will render a particular view based on these uh, 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 links here. Okay. So let's close that for now. And so now in our uh, views folder, we're going to create one for each of these. Okay. So just go and then new. And we have the about HBS and uh, one more. I can't do there. The contact and then one more for the portfolio. Okay, so those are the one. And notice that if you go to the view, um, I can show you something really quick. If I navigate to this site here, like this no matching URL. So you get this, like cannot get this page. Okay, so this is, a, so what you wanna do is you wanna create another um, a catch all to have a really uh, friendlier message to the browser. So typically you create something called like a not found component or a view. Oops, let's create one, let's call this one here not found. Or sometimes you call it 404, right? But I'll call it not found. All right, so if you look at the about first, and so everything will be the same. We just basically copy uh, we're inside the main tag here, okay? We copy the main tag here, put into the about, and then we format that, and then save. And then open, you can close that now. Open the contact, again, just inside the main. And then we add that to the contact, format, and save. And then the portfolio, the main, all the way down here to the end of that, and the portfolio here, and then we'll format. Okay, so we can close um, these here now. All right, and then our not found will have to do something kind of similar. So I want to copy uh, just the main and then the title here, put it into the not found, and I'll just close the main tag here. Okay. So kind of consistent, and we'll put a message here, something like, um, uh, sorry, uh, file not found. Okay, so, so the, um, it's better than cannot get something, right? All right, so now if you um, then go to the index.js file, the main file, we need to create those um, APIs, right? We got the landing page, this is the home page, and then we're going to create something similar. Uh, so what I'll do, we're just going to copy this to make it quicker. Put the about page. I just put here the about page. We have one for the contact, and then portfolio, and then so on. So this is the about. This will be the uh, contact portfolio, and this is the star. Okay, you want to use the start as a catch-all. This is the wild card. So we don't want to. We want to make sure that we we capture every every not found. Uh, so it's going to render this called not found component or view. And uh, the message will just you know leave that blank for now. Uh, I'll, re I'll replace it later. Um, and then the portfolio will be just portfolio as well. The same name. The contact. And then the about. Okay. So if you save it and go to the browser and see if they work, let's reload it. 
So here we go. See, there it is. So it's working beautifully, right? Okay. So as you can see, if you have a not found, if I go like portfolios or something, right, it has a sorry file not found instead of that, can I get something? So that is pretty neat. Now, notice that all these data are static data. We just put that in the code uh, manually. So let's go back. And so this page is good. Let's go to the, if you look at that, every every page, you see that this, this part here, the main has a h1, about has a h1, and so on. So you have a main tag followed by a title. Uh, this title here could be put, let's put this above the contact page to be kind of consistent. Uh, I want to show you something here. Yeah, I have too many div tags here. Let's just remove that div and then reformat that. Okay, so since they're all the same, this part is the same. So instead of doing this way, then you want to put that inside the index. Uh, I mean that, yeah, the index, the, the root here. And you put that inside here. So you would say, okay, every page is going to have a title. And then you close the main here, all right? <clears throat> so notice how I, see how I do this. This is the title of the page. Um, uh, let's see. No, no, not the title. The title, the title stays out. Out. Well, no, that's, that's not what I wanted. Okay. I, okay. Let's go back in. I, I meant was I'm, I'm going to replace this with a variable name instead of the uh, the hard code. All right. So yeah, I think this page we're, we're pretty much done. I'm not going to touch this page for now. Uh, you could you can wrap the main tag around here if you want, but we'll leave it inside the view so it's it's kind of consistent. Okay, so what I meant was like this title here, uh, you don't put it, you want to put it here. Um, you can, but I want to do it this way. So you go to the index file and the home page here, the main page, see how I do the message. Instead of message, here we put a title, okay? And then you, you wrap the title, the message right in here, like that. Right, so the title goes in here, and then same thing for this. So all these will have a title um, page, and whatever it is, we'll just you know cut that out and put it in here. Uh, here, the contact would be just contact us or contact me. The title, and then this would be um, I just call it I think my work, something like that. And then here will be just. Uh, not found, so we can leave it as a. Yeah, well, let's let's just do it. everything the same. Title, and then we'll copy that message from the not found. Okay, this this text here, okay, take it out, put it right in here. Okay, so now this is how you pass data to a view. Okay, so you pass data through this object. This object can pass a multiple data. One is called a title. Another could be um, whatever it is. You, you keep passing those data over. You just put a comma, add another property, and so forth. So let's go to the main first. The title here, we're going to wrap this, replace this with the interpolation here. So the message tag, right? So here we call title. And that's going to be the same for every page. So I can just copy this, save that, and then go here and replace that in here inside the contact uh, portfolio. And then the not found. Okay, so that should be um, working flawlessly. If you go back and view, you see that it's working just fine. All right. So now um, the the home page. Uh oh, the home page doesn't work. I call it main. Oh yeah, I call it main. That's why I should have uh, changed it to just the slash. Okay. So in the navigation it was not correct. So the navigation down here in the partials. The header, this will be just slash or or empty, like that. So it goes to the home page. Um, yeah, let's see if that solves it. Yeah, so that's the home page. Okay, so now let's do with this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, create an object to store the uh, video and, and audio. We'll create another uh, data to store data in this portfolio. So this could be 
a uh, JSON data, right, an array of JSON data. This could be the title of the project. This is the uh, a description and then a URL. And we'll loop through every object, I mean, every um, uh, project, and we'll display that using the template uh, um, syntax. The about, yeah, this just has this contact the same. So just do two things, right? So let's go into the home page first, the user one. I can close this now. Uh, I can close this now, portfolio. The contact, I think we're done with the contact. About page, we're done too. Okay, so the home page, the main page here. So these are these are the two uh, links here. Uh, basically, I want to, you know, just just copy this for now, and go into. Um, I know it's pretty tiny. You don't you don't you usually don't do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'll go to Unit Six here again and create another folder, and we'll call it either models or data. Okay, I'll call it model for mine, and then create another file. Here will be uh, we call it the media. Dot um, uh, js. And they have another one for uh, portfolio. That JS. Okay, so in the media, now if you go in here, just paste as you can see. I'm going to create two objects. This will be the video, and it's going to contain a, a a list and actually an object of oops video. Here I have the ID field to have just ID field called video, and they have a SRC field, and I'll just copy this, put it right in here, and then we'll put one more for the URL. Again, I copy the URL um, of a site, okay, just just some site. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not URL. That's it, right? Just two? ID, oh, the source, yeah, just two. I thought there are more, but just two. And then we'll do one more for the audio. This will be just audio. And a copy audio, and the link of the audio, put it right here. OK, so you can delete these. And then now you just have to export them, OK? So um, module exports, um, I can export them as objects. So the first is the video and then audio. Okay. Now just do that because this is already an object. Otherwise you would do something like video. This is the same as in video, video. Okay, it's redundant, right? It's the same thing. Uh, you can go like if you want to call a different name like uh, V, then that's fine. But if you use the same name, then just use it like that. It's redundant. So I use the same one. So we got that done. Now in the portfolio, uh JS will be something similar. So constant um, I'll call it maybe projects. It's going to be a, a list, an array of objects. Okay. So uh, what is the first one we have? The first one, if you go to portfolio page, we have the personal site. Uh, so personal site, copy that, put it here. This is the title. And then the second is the, I think, the description. Uh, I think um, description. I'll put something here, and then the next is the URL. Okay, and then we'll duplicate that for a couple of them. So this is the description. Put it here, and then the URL right here, and then we'll duplicate this. Uh, I think there are four of them. So we got that one there. This is the other site. Put that here. Okay, I'm going to pause this now. I'll just do it. It's taking too long. Okay. Whew. All right. So I pretty much copy everything and put it here. Okay. So we got that data here. And then finally, we just have to export it out. So again, uh, you can just go to exports, the shortcut, it's fine, exports, dot uh, project is equal to projects. Okay, so we export that out. So these two are done, and then um, go back, and so for this one here, we're going to delete delete uh, the rest. I'll just keep one, all right? Just keep one, and we'll render through that using a loop, so for the portfolio. 
Now in the index, we need to import them in. So go up here, um, we'll import up here. I'll call this like a data and we'll constant a, um, a this is the video. I'll extract um, the video and audio from the models and then the media, okay? <clears throat> so you, you do that for both of them and then this is the projects coming from the require model and then project portfolio. Okay, so now those are imported and then now if you go to the main page, here's the home page, then we're going to pass in here in addition to the title, I have a second, uh, two more properties. Video is video and then audio, audio. Okay, so I pass those two properties to the home page. The portfolio, we'll do something similar. Um, I pass in here the projects, use the same name. Okay, this is the uh, variable will be rendered on the, on the uh, template. This is the actual variable data here. Um, it's kind of common to do this way. You can call a different name if you want. Just say, you know, if maybe it works or something like that. It's fine too. Whatever you use here will be, just make sure you are rendering this in the view. Okay, so let's go Let's go to the home page first. Now go to the main HTTPS. So here we're going to replace this ID with the uh, video.id, right? Because we call it video in our um, data. We call the video here video.id because our data has the .id and .src, all right? So that's how you use it. It's an object. So and then this part will be just video dot src and then here will be audio id and the audio oop has to put the wrap um, src for the video too and i'm doing this just example okay uh, usually if you have a lot of like uh, video files or audio files then you loop through that but here i'm just do two very simple ones so you kind of give you an idea of how they work Okay, so here because now it's a template, so whatever you feed to this uh, variables will be rendered here. So you don't touch the template, right? Okay, so let's uh, save this and make sure this works first. And let's go to the view and make sure it's still working. As you can see, it still works just fine, right? Okay, these are still fully functional, as you can see. And uh, I mean, make sure it does work. I'm gonna, I can go and make sure that it's incorrect. I could just say IDs, okay, for the video. And you will see that that should not work. If I refresh it, you can see it's um, um, yeah, it should not work. Did I not change that? Uh, or either that, or I didn't uh, cache it. Maybe. Oh well, I mean the SRC, yeah, that doesn't work here. I mean here, if I go like uh, put an extra S there then the video should not load. Okay, as you can see, it failed, right? So it does work, just to show you that. Okay, let's undo this. Okay, so this page is pretty much done. Same thing for the portfolio. Now we have a portfolio here. We pass in through the portfolio as projects. So it's a list of some projects. So here is the repeating part, right? So this is the same. This is repeating part here. For every project, you're going to render this. So right above here, we use the each. For each project, okay, it's like a for loop. For each project, the render here, this is the title. So it'll be just title. And this is the description. And then here will be the URL. And also here, also the same URL. I want to display that as well. And uh, finally, we close it right down here. We have to close to each slash each. Okay, so you begin and you end here. And I'm just gonna tab this over so you can kind of see. So here we go. That's it, right? And then it's a loop through. It's gonna render that to the browser. And just um, go back and then go to portfolio. As you can see, okay, it worked just fine. Um, just again, to make sure it does work, 
you can go into the template here and uh, change the data, say the portfolio, uh, change the first one to something like this. Okay, so we, should, we know for sure that it's working. And go back and refresh it, and there it is. Okay, now I'll show you one more thing and then we'll end this video. Is that what if you don't have any data? What do you do? Okay, so with that, the each and the um, width uh, template syntax lets you also use another tag called else. So that means if there's any data, then go ahead and render all of these. What if there's no data? Then you can do something like this. You can say else. I know it's kind of weird, but um, you do have this option here. So else, you put a DT here and you can render something like an H3, like a, um, sorry, um, no data, something like that. Okay, so if there's no data in the projects file uh, variable, then it's going to go to the else part and render this instead. Okay, otherwise it would just have nothing shown. So this is not nice, right? So you want to show this one, there's no data. And uh, just to see that it still works, let's go back and make sure it still works. Okay, so you can see. Now let's go and remove the data from the SRC. So if I go to the portfolio over here, and let's say down the bottom, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to export an empty object, okay? As you can see, there's no data, right? Export an empty object, and if I go to the view, refresh it, and there you see it right there. Sorry, no data, because the data is empty. Okay, so that's pretty nice to uh, you know let you do that. Um, so, you know, say it takes, let's say you're combining the if block uh, and the uh, loop together, which is kind of interesting. So let's go back to projects. And then that's it, folks. So in here, um, for the each part, you can also access the index number as well as the key if you you're using the, the key of the array or object. So here, for example, I could do something like, you know, here at the index, and then we put that one here like that. So the index of the array, and this is kind of cool, but then not so cool, as you can see, it has like zero, one, two, and three, and handlebar is just for some reason, it makes it kind of really difficult to, you know, start from, not from zero. It will always grab the index from zero because it always starts from zero. But um, you want to, you know, as a count, you want to use as a counter, so you can say one, two, and three instead. And usually, and uh, frameworks like Angular, you'll see later on, it's really easy to do this. So you'll be tempted to say, okay, well, index is zero. I want a plus one to to print one instead of zero. And you can't do that. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate. But what I meant was like index is zero. I want a plus one to that, right? So it'll be one instead of you know like that. If you want to do something like this, then you have to write your own custom uh, helper uh, syntax, okay, or function to to process this data. But so if you see, if you see so I can see if people do that and go back to the view, you render it, you get an error, right? It doesn't recognize that. It's, mm, what is that, right? So I wish to fix that, but oh well. Um, <clears throat> so let's remove that. And I think that's it for this one. And so I hope you can kind of see how useful this can be using templates. You can pass data to this here, of course, in the about page and, and so on, like the home page also. You could have, you know, all of these in um, a text file, right? You read a text file in Node.js, you can read a text file, and then you loop through the text file and then render this paragraph one at a time using a loop. So. You know, for every line or every paragraph, you render that, and then this whole thing will be rendered as just another each, right? Each, and then render the content. It will render that for you. So, okay. Um, any questions? Please let me know.